name is Mike Blocker. I'm the Director of Sales with North River Boats. My name is Jay Kahn. I'm the General Manager in charge of manufacturing at North River Boats. Today we're shooting a part of the ongoing series for uh, Ask the Experts at North River Boats. It's where you uh, have an opportunity to ask us questions that you want us to answer. So today we're going to talk about the difference between electrolysis and corrosion or crevice corrosion. Well, crevice corrosion, if you will, is probably the biggest issue that an aluminum boat owner will see you over the life of their boat. Absolutely. And, and crevice corrosion is where you get water. It can be fresh water, salt water, brackish water, it doesn't matter. Anytime moisture gets between two surfaces, whether it be two aluminum surfaces, uh, the, between the paint and the aluminum, or between hardware, you can have blistering and separate you can have corrosion that starts and it will eventually cause little pits and and uh, problems with your boat over time and so uh, we want to talk just a little bit about that where electrolysis mm -hmm. is more relative to stray voltage right. it's more relative to when you put dissimilar metals into an electrolyte which is seawater but it can also occur in fresh water as well as brackish water. Okay. Um, you know, most people always assume all the bad comes from seawater, but frankly, it's water. But and anytime water. you can get any kind of a saline solution together and there you have the potential for electrolysis. You put these two dissimilar metals in the water, you get a little bit of voltage created from the two dissimilar metals. And so, in this case, the difference between electrolysis and crevice corrosion is, is basically, we're not really talking about what the electrical stray voltage is doing, but crevice corrosion is more about how to, when we drill a hole in our boat through the paint surface to mount a, an accessory or a DIY part, how do we protect that little area from now being a, a festering spot in your paint over time? And I think this is a big thing that people ask a lot about. There are a lot of products out there that once you drill a hole in that surface, we have to find a way to gasket that, uh, seal it with silicones. Um, there's other products out there that can help you, but the key is there's two sides to that hole. When you drill a hole from the top through the paint and then there's an unside, unpainted side underneath, we got to seal that one just as much as the top one. So Absolutely. It's, it's, it's really understanding, you know, whether this is a dealership installing a part or whether it's a customer doing the DIY thing, you have to f create those barriers and ways to prevent water from getting in between those services. And I, I just can't express enough. It's, it's just that. You've got to create a gasket. You've got to maintain it over time. Uh, you know, silicon works well but it has to have a place to be. And a lot of times when you drill a hole, people need to countersink that hole enough so that it has a bedding area for that silicon to be. Otherwise, when we got two hard surfaces and then we put 50 or 60 pounds on there with the wrench to tighten it up, we lose all of that sealant. And so um, crevice corrosion can just be from two pieces of metal. It could be, you know, the way someone built something where they have an overlap and it's not sealed 100%. Um, you know, we're very conscientious of this when we build our boats and that we don't have those kind of lap joints. We want to minimize lap joints as much as possible and, and use other joint configuration where you can't get corrosion to occur between the surfaces. You take two plates of aluminum and you put them out here in the, in the boat yard and you just lay them together face to face and then two weeks later you come out and you pull them apart and there will be a white corrosion layer between those two surfaces. And those are the, the things that we've learned over time. We talked to experts. Uh, we, we, we worked a lot with uh, BASF over the years with our paint process, how we apply, how we prep, what we do to make our paint stick really well. Mm -hmm. And for them, for BASF, to actually warranty our paint. Um, everything we do is based on what they tell us and they're experts, and they got a lot bigger you know, team of experts than we have. So yeah. from a customer perspective, you know, it's taking care of that product. We talk about washing the boat, inside, outside, flushing it, flushing that motor. All of those things helps keep moistures out of those crevices. Right, and not just flushing the boat. I mean, 
soap and water is really the best thing that you can do, but you know, some form of a salt X or a salt away mm -hmm. um, when you're when you're in in salt water on electrical items and stuff, some type of a, uh, um, a dielectric grease or some boat shield, of boat shield, yep, um, or a Yamaha T9 or something mm -hmm. like that uh, works works really well to help help um, you know keep that corrosion from um, you know festering and growing. Yeah, it's going to occur, and it's how good of a job the end user or that customer does maintaining their boat or, or even hiring someone to help them with it occasionally. Um, it's a, it, it, it can be very well controlled. Um, it can keep the value of your boat higher if you do a really good job of maintaining it. But if you just think about the basics of it, crevice corrosion is two surfaces, whether it be you know vinyl, whether it be paint, whether it be hardware, that moisture can get between and it can cause problems with with your with your boat over time so it's just something the guy wants to keep an eye on and and take care of before it gets too bad so the difference with the electrolysis is a whole nother story <laughs> uh, it can be quite confusing and and it can be other vessels that are causing your problems so maybe in a future deal we can bring shorty in or somebody and we can have a real good discussion on electrolysis Absolutely. All right. Thank you very much. This uh, concludes our discussion on crevice corrosion. And, um, if you like what you see, hit like and subscribe. Uh, if you have any other ideas that you want to you see us talk about, you can add them to the comments below and we'll address that on a future episode. Thank you.